Six months later. Why would they leave this behind? to return you have done as we asked you have succeeded no i have failed my people are gone chased out by those who i thought would protect them it is a trade a sacrifice and not in vain for you have found it this now you must hide it where none shall think to look. And then in time, in time, what once was shall be again. I do not understand. Nor need you. Only do as we ask. Then you may do as you wish. But what of my people? You have saved this place as was your people's purpose, and that matters most. It is not enough. It will never be enough. You strive for that which does not exist. Still, you have made a difference, and you will do so again. Remember, you must hide the amulet where none might find it. I was gonna say, I'm guessing he's gonna bury it with Achilles, but he might actually be doing that. Connor, of course.
And that was sequence 12. I know where the key is. Then let's go! This is it. We're right behind you. Moment of truth. It almost looks like Desmond has the same scar Ezio had, like over his lip there. Yes. Come. Here, at last. You know our story now, of how we tried, of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait! Do not touch the pedestal! Minerva? You! But how? You left! You destroyed the device! Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. Free her. Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used our machines to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first we called to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries, and so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. If you 
heed, Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the skies. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world, merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time, as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well, and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future. But it's freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them. And you'd see it all returned. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, no. we'll find a way to stop it. No. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't! It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Come on. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us! We'll find another way! There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go! No. I I don't agree with that. He should have just walked away. Some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked to remain inside and wait for geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity throughout the Ring of Fire. Northeastern Canada is said to be Where do we begin? The largest First and foremost, I don't agree with that. Desmond never should have fucking let Juno out. Never. You can <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but no, you, I personally never should, I would have never let you know. It's a cycle, and the cycle's, you know, it's not meant to be broken. That, that's humanity, that's life. You're born, and then you die. That, that's what it is. And that's the same with the planet, too. Like, how are you gonna. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now... Now it's time that I played mine. See? Like, how is that any better? It's really not. 
All right, so breaking down the game. I like the game. I honestly do. Despite all of my fucking heated raging moments, I did like the game. It's it's so good in so many ways. The gameplay is phenomenal. Okay, let me let me start with that. The gameplay is phenomenal. There's certain aspects I don't like about it. Like the free run is nice, but it can be janky at times. Certain mechanics of the game were nice, but they can be janky at times, but I mean, that can be said with any game, right? Uh, I did really like this. I really like the story, you know? I don't personally myself know a whole lot about the uh, American history, American Revolution, Seven Year War and all that. I'm from Canada, uh, North America, you know, we learn things, one another, can Canadian history, American history, but personally, I just never uh, indulged in American history, I guess. So it was definitely a trip to learn, you know, key aspects about what America went through to become America. Um, the missions. I This is my biggest problem with this game is the missions. Some of them are good. I feel like the other half of the missions are bad. What I mean by that is they just... They don't play well. Maybe it was my own personal experience my personal skill whatever you want to call it i feel like my biggest issue with this game was the missions you know some of the missions played horribly and they don't work well with their bonus objectives or with the gameplay for example um back in sequence seven not the battle of bunker hill but the one actually no yeah the one before the battle of bunker hill i can't remember what the memory is called now the one where I had to cross Charlestown without taking damage and then get on the boats undetected, blow them up, raise the flag, and also air assassinate a grenadier. That was the most bullshit, like, as much as I love the Assassin's Creed series, they're not stealth games, okay? I don't care what anyone tells you or what anyone says. These are not stealth games, they're action adventure games. If it was a stealth game, you would have you would have more than the basic stealth mechanics, which is don't get seen by this enemy. You would have ability to get into cover, out of cover, hide bodies, and you can say all of it's there, but the borderline is that it's it's loosely there, okay? Very, very loosely. I don't hold these as stealth games, I'm sorry. So when you give me stealth objectives, for example, board a ship without being detected, and then kill everyone on the ship without being detected. Don't air assassinate someone unless you have everyone else killed or they all know. Like, and that's just one mission. The naval mission I have uh, left that I don't have the bonus objective for, it hasn't actually pissed me off. But the bonus objective is really hard on it. I have to destroy the three frigate or the three big ships that I'm fighting against via their weak points. You have to expose their weak points first, and that's not easy. I've probably replayed that mission like 15 times, almost as many times as I've played that one sequence seven mission now. And it's, it's not, it's not getting any better. And as for that last mission, okay. So the last two missions in sequence 12 there, the first one, complete bullshit. If a game tells you don't kill more than three enemies, usually you can kill three enemies. Once you kill four enemies is when you fail the objective. What pissed me off more was the fact that right after they say don't kill three enemies they say hey kill the captain and then i kill the captain and they count him in my kill count and then i fail the objective because i had already killed two enemies and my third one was the failing condition and then furthermore there was no checkpoint so for me to restart checkpoint was restarting the memory like that that really pissed me off and then the other mission the very last mission I take responsibility in that. I do. I take full responsibility in my raging and me taking 20 minutes to get through that mission because I didn't realize that there was an opening there. It wasn't very clear. So I do take responsibility in that. I feel like they could have kind of guided guided the player better to go there. For example, I climbed up that one... Uh, the rope wall and it was an instant fail which they should have just put fire there okay but then when you're in the ship 
when you first enter the ship and then you chase Lee and that door collapses and you're stuck there for a second it's not apparent that that window there you can run through if they had put a firewall and that's like no pun intended but literally if they put a firewall right where that like opening it was where I kept trying to go through then I would have been like oh okay so I don't go through there and I probably would have figured it out sooner but because there wasn't I thought that was the way to go especially because of the way he ran like they, they run that way right so but no I take full responsibility with that last mission but even some of the other missions too uh, for example there was one with Haytham near the beginning of the game where I was supposed to quick shot enemies but it was kind of hard to get the uh, the ref or reflex shot, sorry. It was kind of hard to get the reflex shot as you're supposed to be riding a horse, chasing down another guy, and you don't target. You have to rely on your auto target, which isn't the greatest thing. Yeah, like I said, to me, I loved everything about it. I love the setting of the game. They did a good job with the, uh, the wilderness and the uh, city mixes. They did a good job with the game pay, gameplay mechanics, good job with the stories, um, the upgrade systems. I like the homestead and having your own little like uh, sovereignty nation there. But the missions, they just they drove me insane. There was a lot of missions there. I can't name them all off the top right now, but I'm sure if I thought back to it, I would I would figure them all out. But yeah, no, that's that's about it. Um, even though this is the end of the game, this won't be the last recording session. I want to do one more to show 100% completion. So I will put myself through a little bit more um, off screen, of course. But I will I will do that. And then we'll have the DLC, which is the uh, Tyranny of King Washington, I think it was called. Don't quote me on that. And then I'm not sure from there. I did just buy all the Assassin's Creed games earlier today. And by all of them, I mean literally all of them except for Valhalla because it's not on Steam yet. But that's Unity... Uh, Rogue, Syndicate, uh, the Chronicle series, which was Russia, China, India, I believe, uh, 4, Origins, and Odyssey, and all the DLCs. So I literally have all the Assassin's Creed games up to, um, like I said, up to Valhalla, not including the random like mobile slash uh, handheld version games. But with that being said, I don't know, I might branch into something else in the meantime uh, after I do the DLC. So I don't know, really know what to expect now. Uh, I've been behind. I still am. Like, I think if I check right now, currently I'm 26 videos behind as I'm recording this, which is the 27th of December. I think I have six videos readied. And then I think today I recorded... I think when I counted it was eight sessions. This might be ten sessions. So probably about twenty videos worth. So I should basically be at par. I'm not gonna like mass upload them, obviously. I have to render them out and I'll kinda upload a bit at a time, but not all twenty videos. But so yeah, I definitely want to catch up before the year's ended. So there's a good chance that you see this video before uh January twenty twenty one, if you watch my videos on a daily basis. If you're just watching this like I don't know, whenever in the future. And if you're watching, or if you're listening to me ramble on through the credits, because I, I figure most people don't. Uh, if, you, if you listen to me ramble through the credits, then you hear this. And you know. Anyways, though. Um, yeah, that will be that. Like I said, uh, the DLC for this game will be next. And then after that, probably a small little game as a filler before we jump into more Assassin's Creed. I don't know. Well, I'll have to think about it. But in any case... Uh, if you watched all the way to this point, I definitely appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Um, let me know, like I said in the comments below, what, well, let me know what you thought of the game for one. And then also let me know what you would have done if you were Desmond. Would you have let Juno free or not? Nah? But in any case, that's it for me. I'm just going to let the credits play out and then that will be that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and say comment down below. Subscribe, share. It's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.